Whether young or old, each of us is on a journey through life. Along the way, we develop bonds of love for God, family, and friends. But just as birth has its labor pains, the transition to our eternal destiny can be traumatic, especially for those left behind, those providing care during our final days. Often, a family's commitment of time and energy and the sense of loss can be overwhelming. It's good. You just try and relax, okay? No one knows that better than Rita Florentino. She served as a traveling hospice nurse in California for much of her life, but felt called by God to do something better. So I just feel like God said, well, you can't be at everybody's house, but you can invite people into your house and take care of them. That was the original idea. Um, I also, God also said, that person which I put in front of you is the one that you're to serve. So taking a leap of faith, Rita sold everything left California and purchased and restored this historic home in Plainfield, Indiana, and created the gathering together. It's here in this comfortable, secure, and peaceful setting that families like that of Jim Crick and his daughter gather to express their love to his dying wife, Peggy. And Rita does everything else, relieving Jim of the stress of 24-hour care, helping ease the pain of impending loss. While family members climb this elegant staircase to stay in one of the comfortable bedrooms or enjoy homemade meals prepared right there in Rita's kitchen, their loved one receives tender and loving hospice care in an atmosphere of comfort and peace. There are no time restrictions and no charges for family and friends to gather, love, and support one another. Prior to bringing Peggy to the gathering together, Jim spent three years caring for his wife. His daughter Tanya, herself a nurse, and other family members said it wasn't just their mom who was suffering. They saw their dad's condition and quality of life slipping away. He's got the place that kind of got me down, and the girls seen it, that I was kind of deteriorating, but of course I didn't see it. Then my heart started slowing down, so at that particular point, I had to have a pacemaker put in, so I told the girls, I said, Daddy's done, I can't do it no more. This for my dad is like a break for him. He gets to actually spend time with my mom while somebody else gets to take care of her. We had mother scheduled for the nursing home the very same day that uh, she got this place opened up. And uh, the Lord, Lord was in it, that's all there was to it. The whole family is our patient, really. The whole family is our guest. We want to take care of them as well as the family. And actually, many times, families come back to me and say, this meant more to me than it did to the, to the guest who was here, to their family member who died here, because of the love and the, the encouragement and just, just the comfort that they get from being here. For those who have already passed on, family members often return to relax in the peace and quiet of Rita's beautiful memorial gardens. And it's a place to remember loved ones and to experience meaningful prayer and thanksgiving. So how can the Gathering Together, a nonprofit charitable organization guided by a dedicated board of directors, provide all of this love and care at no charge to the families? The answer lies with people like these attending special events and providing contributions, gifts, and donations. As Rita says, God always inspires the right people to give of their time, talents, and treasure. Money raised here is already being used to help other families experience the sense of relief, peace, comfort, and joy that only come from the gathering together. Rita's sister, Alaire, was among the very first to contribute. Gathering together has become a place where anybody can stop by and know that they're gonna be seen, recognized, given opportunities to be all they can be, because it's done with love and for God. Amen. 
To seek more information, volunteer, or make a donation, log on to Rita's website at thegatheringtogether.org. Or simply stop by and share a cup of coffee with Rita. One lady, her dad came, they lived in Speedway, and she just said, Dad, I'm so glad you're here. This is your last stop on the way to heaven. And I like that. I still kind of coined that phrase. Yeah, that was, that was good.